Hey swimmers, it's Courtney. Come back at ya. Uh, I'm just gonna be folding laundry, so it looks like I'm, you know, doing other things. That's what I'm doing. Um, Cause I need to fit this in, um, but at the same time I need to fold one. So today we are going to be reviewing a movie um, because its sequel is coming out very shortly. And I've seen the first one, and I'm super excited to see the second one. And that would be Happy Death Day. Happy Death Day. Um, I thought it was a good movie, personally. Because I love the idea of it. Um, don't know if you saw it. Uh, the whole thing behind it is that the girl, um, her name, it's been a while since I've seen it. The main girl, she keeps waking up on the same day over and over and over. <laughs> um, and as she, um, as she continually dies, she starts to figure out, hey, I'm the only one that can stop it by figuring out who killed me. So she begins to trying to figure out who kills her as she's getting killed over and over and over. Um, there are several times where she thinks it's finally done, you know, she finally found her killer. Um, in that time, too, she also finds this uh, great guy, Carter, um, that she be befriends, and actually they start a romantic relationship by the end of the movie. Um, and one of the times she does actually think she figures it out, but if she gives up and if she doesn't die, then Carter stays dead. So whoever dies in the lifetime that's with her, um, stays dead. If, so if she doesn't die... Anybody who did die in that process stays dead. Does that make sense? I don't know. Um, bottom line, I thought it was an amazing movie. Um, my only problem is, is there's a lot of plot holes. Because um, unfortunately, there are ways she could have stopped the murder many a times. Um, but... We all knew it had, like, there are some spoilers, by the way, in this video. I'm going to stop right now and I'm going to do some, because I got some spoilers right now. It was her roommate, Lori. Lori wanted her dead. For whatever reason. Um, I think, or, it was because she was sleeping with her professor. They were both uh, having a thing for the professor, but the professor slash doctor, um, chose the main character over Lori, and Lori was unhappy about that, and Lori poisoned her cupcake, and she thought she had successfully gotten it when she killed the killer that was in the hospital that Lori let loose so that Lori could get off the hook. Well, that failed. Because somehow, some way, uh, the killer didn't, the, or she, she killed her with the, cu the cupcake once. And then she figured it out. They had a big fight scene and that was really the end of that. And I thought it was kind of a good movie. It reminded me of the movie Groundhog Day, um, if you know what that movie is. Um, again, another great one. Um, but it was definitely one of those movies that I feel like has been, like, that I, the idea of, 
based around it has been used many a times. I know there's another movie that came out right around the same time that had the same exact idea. And it's, it's not, I, I don't know. I just think maybe they should have tried to get a little more original with it. Um, but that's all I have in terms of that. Um, but I do have another thing. Uh, Happy Death Day to You comes out February 13th. Go see it. I know I will be. Um, and make sure that you guys subscribe, like this video. Well, you don't have to like the video. But subscribe, please, and hit the notification button to know when I post. I have many many things I want to accomplish with this channel and I'm hoping that I get to accomplish that um, if you guys can think of ways to make this channel better let me know um, I will keep it in mind um, until next time my swimmers just keep swimming and I maybe I shouldn't say that Disney might use that against me keep swimming my dears, uh, and to my swimmers, till next time.